the man who um, is very familiar to us on our social media platforms with a sterling 300,000 followers. And to add to it, because he's very comic, he does have a degree, and that's in social sciences and honours for that matter. We're going to be talking to Kingsley ZW. Good morning. Great being here. I can imagine. <laughs> Listen, when I found out that we're going to be speaking to you, Max, and yeah. um, it's always difficult to talk to someone seriously. Uh -huh. I should have come out with content. Yeah, yeah. Then I'm looking at your biography. Because we are moving seriously and then we do content. Do content and yeah. we're going to start A lot of people talk about um, content creation as if it's something that's not time worthy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To edit a video by Instagram, it takes me so much time. <laughs> so how did you decide um, this is what you want to do and accumulating my numbers are one now. Is, is, is. Mm -hmm. uh, when did you start? Okay, so for me, I started a long time ago. Um, I started doing comedy back when I was still in school. Mm -hmm. um, I can say primary school to be specific. And I used to enjoy entertaining my family and entertaining my friends and just showing that funny side of life. And so people would be like, oh, you're a you're a comedian, you're a clown. And one of the most, uh, I think one of the people who gave me that understanding that maybe I might actually get into this industry as my mom. Because mm -hmm. my mom would always be like, <laughs> Do you know, I wanted to ask and yeah. also mention uh, the, the first ones who yeah. actually help us. Because yeah. I don't know if you have a lot of It's very good for you that your mother has yeah. been supportive in yeah. your whole journey. Yeah. Now, we must quickly get into the part where you go on social media, mm -hmm. you create a content mm -hmm. and you create a script. Mm -hmm. Do you do it by script or no go better phone rolls are we? And how do you know that this one is going to trend? Because obviously, pane mama wa rufu ngodi rufu seke sa indi stoma tish kwa kuita se. And pane mama ano fa tongo trend. How do you create that? How do you curate that content? And how do you know what is just a piece? Yeah, true. Um, for me, personally, for me, I I feel like it's it's by God's grace. That's mm. number one. Number two, some of these jokes they they just come. It's like you be just sitting there and you go and maybe let me say I'm a I'm a very observant person. Mm -hmm. I like to observe my surrounding and my setup. So every now and again, I'm always looking at what's really what are people doing, and I always try to find the humor in that. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, let's say you know, most of the times, family members have this tendency. Hey, whenever Tasangana say Mori, people always laugh and they talk. But there's always that moment where they start laughing at each other, where yeah. they start throwing jokes at each other, like, yo, no penge, yo. So I'm always like, okay, this is good content. But initially for me, it was just for the sake of entertaining my family mm. and friends. But also at the same time, I then realized that, wow, this can be a hobby, but at the same time, something that I can give off to the people mm -hmm. as well. And I didn't think that people would actually like this. Yeah. I actually thought that people would be like, ah, you know, yeah, I'm But with time, I started seeing that actually people were relating to my content. They were yeah. actually like, this is good content. You're actually good because this is actually something that I also experience at home. Mm -hmm. Like you get like children in homes, like mothers, fathers, sekurus coming and saying, ah, you know, your content is very funny. I actually am that person that you showcase on your social media. So yeah. I like that you're relating. Um, you're, you make sure your content is relatable. Yeah. Now, when it comes to yeah. print and press, we usually have that transferred into caricatures and yeah. satire. Yeah. Now, tell me what happens. Maybe you are experiencing something in your life. I, I do know that uh, comic elder likes to act out what is actually going through in life. Saka kaita heartbreak. Unutos wo not Baba warugudzika ni content heartbreak. Do you ever do that? Do you ever maybe think I'm too broke this week? Let me make content about being broke. Yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. Like, cause content with content, you are giving off a picture of something that is either happening in your life or something mm -hmm. that is happening in someone else's life. So sometimes, yeah, you can get to a point where maybe, like, for example, I wanna go out, I wanna go maybe meet my friends in town, don't boy enda gonna move or something like that, and then you don't have money, so you have to go and ask for your mom, yeah. your mom for money. Like, ah, mama, don't broke eh, don't broke ten dollars, and when you go in the town, you go in the owner moving, and somebody's down. And then your mom is like. Mm -hmm. So it becomes an issue whereby, like, those are some of the things that would happen at yeah. home, and then I'll just transpose them and 
bring them on the, on the screen as well. Now, I can imagine you haven't reached um, the pinnacles that you plan to reach in life. I mean, we're all still working toward our dreams. Yeah. But in 2022, you were nominated by the NAMAS mm -hmm. uh, under the distinct social media skit yeah. category. Now, yeah. this is 2002. Yeah. How did that feel? Take us through the euphoric moment where you found out that you're a nominee yeah. and especially like your mom's reaction because yeah. she's you know, a big part in this. Yeah. Um, share with us. Well, for me, it was an unbelievable experience. And I'm really grateful to um, the Zimbabwe Arts Council for the nomination because it really gave me hope. Mm -hmm. um, all along, I had been creating content, and I never thought, you know, maybe I would be, you know, nominated for such a very prestigious, you know, um, award. But just getting that was enough to make my mother and my dad as well understand that this is actually something that is real. Because initially they were like, ah, chicha ungaite, you know, you know, but I So when I I got that nomination and I actually went to the award ceremony, yes, I didn't win, but I was happy for the recognition. And my parents actually started appreciating it more mm -hmm. because they were like, ah, can we have one such a case? So we can have Zimbabwe. We have Zizwa. I'm fine. I'm happy. I'll tell you something. though. a nomination is a win. Sure. The fact that you sure. were just there, I must yeah. stay purple. It is, it is actually just to win. I always hear people get nominated saying they didn't yeah. win. Once you are, what to stay purple? Yeah. When you let's talk about you um, having to fund content mm -hmm. now. In the small magnitudes that I do it at in the Go Post and they still maybe it's gonna take some more data. Mm. Now you have to create content for your three hundred thousand plus followers. Mm. So that's almost daily. Mm. How are you funding this? Um if you could maybe even explain to us and those at home mm. who see and can you actually monetize your content? Well, let me just say that starting this content wasn't easy. Mm -hmm. That's the honest truth. It has been a challenging but also a learning and uh, growth stage for me. Because obviously when you begin, you don't even know how to navigate around content, mm. around social media. You're just trying to throw things out there, see how people respond to it. But I guess for me, it was just the passion. You know, sometimes you just be wanting to post something and you don't even have a time. Yeah. And you now have to go and look for free Wi-Fi. You have to go and look for people who have, you know, bundles and get hot spotted yeah. and stuff like that. So that was me, you know, growing up as I was growing in the, in the social media space. But it was difficult. But of course, I didn't let that deter me. Yeah. I, I actually kept on pushing because I wanted to see that growth. I wanted to see the content that I that I make being seen by many people. And mm -hmm. I guess for me, the most important part was the consistency of it all. Because obviously you can't post today and then post after a yeah. month. You yeah. have to be like consistent. And that consistency is one thing that actually gave me the, the strength to be like, you know what, no matter what, I have to post. I have mm -hmm. to give something uh, to the people. They have to see what I'm doing. And so with that in mind, I, I actually you know, embarked into music as well. Mm -hmm. And one of my songs, which I haven't published as well, is called Never Give Up because it talks about my journey mm -hmm. um, from the moment I started till where I am now. Yeah. You kind of preempted my next question. I was going to ask if um, all this um, is a story you're telling, but it sounds like it is. It's it is. a journey it and you're venturing into music it and is. collectively it becomes a brand of yeah. which I think bigger than the yeah. one we have right now. But before I let you go, I must ask you to share with us um, the, the beautiful parts of, of being a social media, um, social light, maybe let me use that mm. word, because we spoke about my challenges. Mm. So, mm. Mm. so mm. fascinating moments. Mm. Uh, do, you, do you not get fascinated? What's, what, what do you enjoy about what you do? Well, at first, when I would meet people, mm -hmm. it was always like a shocking moment because you'd get old people. Like, Anana go go, mm -hmm. Anana Sekuru, Anana Mama, Anana Sek, you know, Anana Daddy, saying, you know, we love your content. You know, we love what you do. And at first it was shocking, but as I got to understand people and where they were coming from, I started really appreciating and it really made an impact in my life. And so, with that in mind, I even created a brand called Kurotsudo, which I'm mm -hmm. actually a part of and it's a registered entity. And mm -hmm. from there on, you know, it has been amazing. It has been an amazing journey for me. Konapo Konapo, Ipapwe Papo Pazetien Prime, DSTV Channel 294, the place to be.